So in this example, we want to prove that for any four consecutive integers, the difference between the product of the last two and the product of the first two of these numbers is equal to their sum. So let's first write down four consecutive integers. So we can represent them as n, n plus 1, n plus 2, and n plus 3. Now what we're saying is that the difference between the product of the last two and the product of the first two, so we want to multiply these together, subtract these two multiplied together, and that is meant to be equal to their sum. So the sum of these four things, of these four numbers, is n plus n plus n plus n, so that's 4n. And then we've got 1 plus 2 plus 3, so that's 6. So we want to show that the product of the last two take away the product of the first two is equal to this 4n plus 6. So we have n squared plus 5n plus 6, expanding those brackets. And expanding those brackets, we've got minus n squared minus n. So the n squareds cancel. I've got 5n take away n, and that's 4n, plus the remaining 6. And we can see that this is equal to the sum that we found there. Okay? And so we have shown exactly what the statement was asking.